Black Dude here again, and we're gonna do Monsters 2022 film. It's not long been released, okay? Wow, what a shit show. That's all I can say, right? So it's directed by Rob Zombie, which I loved the Halloween movies he did. I thought they were really good. But we have the monsters. Right, all right, fair enough, it's aimed towards kids. So, you know, he's only ever really directed films that are 18 plus, you know, rated R, like Halloween. But this show, boy, it's a disaster. An absolute disaster. <sighs> right, I'll give good points to it now, right? I think Herman looks great. First class baby! <laughs> the Count looks, um, yeah, all right, I could go with that. <clears throat> Slight changes to his appearance, but it's fine. Lily, I think she looks stunning. Hermie, thank you so much for coming. Right? And I think they play the characters correctly in a way. Right? The issue is the story is, is god awful. Right? This is the entire plot. Right? I can sum it up in a few words. The creation of Herman, and basically they lose a house and they move to LA. That's the story. That's the entire plot. Okay? <sighs> Very simple. Very easy. All right, it's a kid's film. It needs to be simple. It needs to be easy. But how it was directed, how it, it was wrote, how the performance was, right? I don't know where he was trying to go with this. I really don't. You know, it's, it's like a goofy B-movie. And it's like, really? I really don't recommend watching this. Maybe if you're bored and you want to get confused for an hour, well, nearly two hours, fair enough, watch it. <sighs> to me, it's trying to encapsulate what happened before with the old black and white. Right, and he's trying to modernise it while trying to keep sort of to the original sense of it. But the payoff isn't there. It's absolute garbage. I like the monsters. I used to watch it when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, black and white. I still watch black and white things when I was a kid. Monsters was one of them. Adam's family. And... I don't know where this is gonna go. Especially with, you know, Wednesday's coming out. I don't know how to approach this, if I'm honest. For me, it's a mixed bag. Is it gonna be full of wokeness? Or are they gonna, I mean, Wednesday is a strong woman. She is, well, a strong girl. But after seeing the trailer, there are questions. But anyway, we're here to talk about the monsters. So, you know, basically, you know, we see the Count trying to marry Lily off, and this other geezer's created Herman. She sees Herman on the TV, and it's got all this weird, do you know what it reminds me of? You know, like Japanese anime, where they're in like Korean comedy and things like that, where they have like weird emojis and things that pop up all the time. And it's basically like that. Ah. All the way through the movie, and it's like, I'm not really feeling this whatsoever. I know it's a kid's film, and I know I'm a grown adult. But, you know, I do like to have some, you know, good memories of things that I used to watch, and I like to see the updated versions of it, right? And to me, this is, it's poor. It's poorly written, and it's like, why? I expected more from Rob Zombie, you know what I mean? He's done some cracking films, but this, this is complete garbage, and I'm not going to waste my time on this, really. I'm going to do this quickly, right? 
the fact that it looks like a weird Japanese anime that's been put into live action. It... Anyway, I'm keeping this short and sweet. Is it a good movie? God, no. It is awful. It is beyond saving this one. It, it looks like a terrible B-movie anime that they've just filmed and the set designs are, 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 are honestly they must have made this from about 30 quid bought everything from the local market and just tried to make it that's what this film looks like uh, which you know I was just perusing the internet as you do and I seen it and I was like oh the monsters and there's a new film of the monsters I didn't know Rob Zombie directed it so I watched it and then at the end when it said Rob Zombie, it was quite a shocker for me. I thought it was some director you never even heard of before. You know what I mean? I know he's not, Rob Zombie's not exactly a large director, but he has done some great films. But for me, this is an absolute flop. Wow, is it terrible. So out of five, I'm going to give it a two. Because the story, all right, you've got... The story is pretty much solid, but they made it the entire movie which you could have really done that in 10, 20, 15 minutes. But they, they stretched out this to make a whole movie out of it. So, anyway, save yourself some time. Don't bother watching it. Anyway, you know, oh, please support the channel any way you can. Please like, share and subscribe. Ta-da.